Danny, was it just a game too far for the lads? Yeah, I think so, yeah, just, just falling at the final hurdle, really, you know, Wakefield were very good and real simple, just uh, kicked us to death, made us come off his own line, and yeah, just, just one too far for the boys, so yeah, absolutely uh, devastated. I know it's obviously going to be very tough to take out. How do you look back on the whole experience and the, the whole season in, ge in general? Um, yeah, it's been, I mean, what an experience for us all, what a learning experience. I think we've all got better as the weeks have gone on and, and so many ups and downs. It's been just an absolute roller coaster, you know, some massive performances, some not so good. And um, so, yeah, we, we can be proud of how we've um, gone about the business and, and how we've improved. Like I said, the, the, the majority of that side have come up from the championship last year. And, and you just, you know, hopefully it's proved to a lot of people the, the quality down there and you work with them and, and have a good group who want to get better each week. You know, they're capable of playing Super League week in, week out. You know, unfortunately, you know, we failed in what we set out to do. So, yeah, there's, there's, there's loads of positives, but yeah, at the end of the day, you know, we, we've been relegated, so it's absolutely heartbreaking for the lads because, you know, um, they'll, come, they'll be so much better for the experience this year. It's, it's a shame they can't just have another crap next year. You touched on it a little bit there. Did, did they handle the whole occasion and the whole evening better than you? Um, I think we handled the occasion well. I just think we absolutely just got put under the pump from start to finish. We, we couldn't get out of our half. You know, Buffy was kicking us to death. You know, they played a perfect game plan. We were coming off, we were getting the ball a metre from our line and they were getting it you know, on the 30, on the 40 metre line. It was, it was normally in games there's a little momentum swingers where that goes, but it was just, yeah, relentless from them for 80 minutes and we just, we don't come, and then when we did get down into good ball, we just didn't execute properly, but it was just, yeah, they, they played a, a very good game and we just, we just weren't good enough on the night. And I know it's going to take a, a bit of time for it all to sink in and things like that, but are you confident you can rebuild this group? Because obviously a few, a few are leaving and, and go again next year. And 100%, try percent, yeah, well, you know, once it, once it sinks in and we regroup and we'll, we'll, we'll learn from this. And, but yeah, confident we'll, we'll go down to the... Um, that the champ and have a, have a good crack at coming up. Yeah, there's going to be, we knew there'd be a, a decent rebuild, whether in Super League or champ, um, because of the, the amount of players leaving, really. So, you know, we've got that to, to get on with and solve. But I'm confident that, you know, what we're doing down there in London, will, the lads who are stopping will be certainly better for this experience. And, and uh, you know, we've got to give it us all next year now. Is the most important thing not losing the progression that's been made over this season by the that off the field? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we've got to, We've certainly got to build on it. It's just you know, see, it's a, it's a little bit of adversity, and we've got to deal with it. It's, it's that's that's life, and it can't always go your way. It can't always be positives. We've got to deal with that little blip and and come out the other side and, and go again. You roll up his sleeves up and go again. That's all you can do as as uh, as blocks, isn't it? So uh, we've got to build on what we've done this year and all the positivity and all the all the strides we've made. You'll have seen undoubted progress in some of the players as well, would you? Like have proved themselves to be Super League players. Massively, yeah. Like I said, the, the majority are were championship players. The, they've had some who played in Super League a few years ago, but you know the majority haven't played this level before. As young blokes who have stepped up from from the academy, haven't played this level before, and it's hard. It's hard playing Super League week in week out for 28, 29 rounds, and that's what they've found. Sometimes we've we've had good hidings off teams, and, and sometimes we've had some great wins, and it's just that consistently playing at that top level, you know, they've come up against some of the best players in the world in this league, which is fantastic learning experience for them and they're only going to be better for it. Do you feel better as a coach for what you've done this season, what you've been through, what you've done through? Um, I certainly feel like, again, I've I've got better and developed, I've learned lessons and again, I've made mistakes and, and, and not always done things right this year and, and again, it's all been massive development for us this year and I've, I've come out of the side and yeah, can be happy with what we've done, but we've still failed in what we set out to achieve as well. So it's uh, it's yeah, it's a little bit a bit of sweet really. And in terms of the amount of points you went down with, I mean, 20 points, no side's gone down with that many. I mean, that makes it more sick than what imagine. Um, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, you, you'd have thought with 10 wins, we was we should have been sweet, but it's not. So it's only it, it is again. We've we've won 10 games. We've been 10 great games. We've won. In any other season, that'd have been sweet, but you know, it's, that, there's only one start that, that matters, and that's the bottom of the league. You know, so unfortunately, we really get. And in terms of the boys who are leaving, I mean, people have given absolutely everything for the, the course tonight, I mean, and indeed all season. Yeah. Maybe Jay Pitts, Alex Walker, some of the main men are leaving now. Aren't they? Yeah. And that, yeah, credit to credit to them boys, and I said that to them after the game. You know, like, 
people questioning how they're going to turn up for these final month of the season, you know, people like Yates and, and all them and Pitsies and, and, and Alex and, and, Ab, and Jordan Abdo last week, people questioning how he's going to play against OKR and that just shows the character of them them blokes and they've been fantastic this year for us and, and they've given us absolutely everything for, for all the season and um, even then, even though you're moving on, they're absolutely tearing themselves to bits to get the win for the team because the boys mean that much sure. Um, it's been hard. It's been very, very hard to recruit, to retain, because we don't know where we're going to be at. You know, I think other teams have been in that same boat as well. It's, it's a very hard position to be at. So we've been losing players, but not being able to recruit because we don't know about how much funding we're going to get, which league we're going to. We can promise lads that we're coming in. So it's been that, that is a bit of a nightmare to be in. But you know, now we hopefully know where we're at. We can crack on.